hottest week of the whole year. It's like 100 degrees. The dew point is in the low 80s and I'm just having flashbacks because the last time I was out here, I was like, it's 100 degrees. It's hot sometimes in the summer. Anyway, it's extremely hot and muggy. It's extremely unstable. We've got surface-based cape values of 7,000 across central Illinois. It's Friday afternoon, 3.45. Headed out of Urbana right now. Got to that point where I finished up my work day and was just kind of twiddling my thumbs waiting for a storm. It's a slight risk day today across central Illinois. And my wife knew what she wanted to do with her rest of her Friday. Sophie wanted to hang out, watch TV, play the new Zelda game. And so I'm bugging her about how I might go storm chasing. I'm just waiting. <clears throat> I'm watching satellite, just waiting to see if an area pops up. I don't want to leave too early because I don't want to be like out of position once the area goes, but I would also like to be right where it goes when it goes because the storms could be explosive when they ignite. So it would be really cool to be there when it happens, but also stuff might come towards home at the end of the day. So I don't want to get out of position for what might be a nice show at sunset by getting on some storms too early in the afternoon and then they die or they run away from me. <clears throat> and she was like, don't you want to like go to a McDonald's and sit in the parking lot and wait for storms to come up or something like that? Basically hinting like, get your ass out of the house. You're driving me nuts. She's very sweet. She even commented on, she's like, so you got a little bit of like tired old man in you when I was like, I don't want to like, you know, leave too early and be out of position. But I, I would like to kind of be there when stuff pops basically being like uh, okay well then go be there when stuff pops so that takes us all the way to right now like I said 3 45 p.m. leaving Urbana it's a slight risk day we have no storms going up yet but there's bubbling cumulus incredible amounts of instability and maybe just enough shear to get us a, a sustained severe storm my expectations are completely wide open. As far as storms being photogenic, I don't really have that expectation. Uh, we could get brief supercellular structures. That'd be probably photogenic. Uh, we could get just big downbursts. That could be photogenic. Or we could just get really disorganized gust fronts and, and outflow and, and whatever. And, and that could be something that turns photogenic as the sun starts going down. So this might be a lot of rambling about nothing, but that kind of sets the expectations here, which is hopefully couple hours of observing severe storms here in central Illinois on a hot late summer Friday afternoon. Let's get a fountain coke from Casey's. Hopefully, hopefully the fountain coke is working today. Storm. So this is great. We've got a thunderstorm erupting. 
just to our west, probably about 15 to 20 miles to the west. This is a cool scene watching the storm erupt, but given the environment today, not much in the way of shear to sustain storms, but a lot of juice to make things explode when they first develop. I want to get closer to it right away. So we're going to pack up, we're going to move west, and we're going to just see what this looks like up close. Nice shelf cloud here. We're definitely getting a big wind bag. That's what I kind of expected here. So the storm's starting to get a nice downburst. Those outflow winds will come surging out ahead of the storm. It'll hit this warm and muggy air mass. I don't know if you can see it, but I am shiny. I've got the air conditioning off because if you run the AC when it's hot and muggy like this, this extreme level, when you take your camera out of the air conditioned car into the hot muggy air, completely fogs the lens over. So, no AC right now. We're just doing a dew point of like 85 inside the vehicle for the rest of this chase. But it'll be worth it to not be fighting with compensation. But anyway, I'm gonna get out ahead of the line a little bit now that I kind of have a feel for what's happening. Not so worried about a hidden tornado risk. And just more concerned about photographing and observing this severe storm as it potentially produces some damaging wind across parts of central Illinois. I think really, I just like to get out of the rain. I'm in kind of the light rain that's falling out ahead of the storm. And I'd like to just get to where I'm not being rained on. I can photograph the front end of the storm and some of the lightning that's happening out in front of that. Get a nice look at the shelf cloud. It's right on my heels.
just caught a view of what's the south end of this complex. It's looking cool. Oh wow, we're playing this right. We're gonna get around. There's like a little state park right here with a bunch of trees. We're just gonna get around on the other side of it. And the store will be between us and the sunset. Turning into a big, mean wind bag.
like I'm drying out my seat because I need to invest in some of those like the little guards. I don't like how it looks, but functionally, I've never had a car like this where when I'm filming a storm out the window, the water just, it like funnels and pours into the car on my lap, down my butt. That was fun. That thing turned into a beautiful shelf cloud. And then we got just one of my favorite non-tornado things to observe, which is just a big windy storm when the light gets cool. I don't really have a new plan. We're in the storm now on the back side of it. The sun has gone down, so there's not backside light to be had with storms blowing storms at this point. I don't think we'll be able to get back out ahead of it. So I think I'm gonna just like, you know, check for damage in the immediate area and then drift with it. We'll just see what kind of lightning we can end up with on the way home. But so far I'm satisfied with that little storm observation. Ooh, a lot of water, a lot of lightning.
can hear generators running here in town. It's a residential area. Amazingly, 9.45, as I'm coming into Champaign-Urbana, we're coming out the other side of the line. I did not think that we would be able to get back to the other side. Now the severe portion of it is pretty much blasting off to the south, and on the northern side here, it's more just heavy tropical rain and lightning, so. I'm gonna roll back into Champaign-Urbana, casually here and just, I don't know, enjoy the lightning a little bit. That was a really fun storm observation. Severe thunderstorm warning for us right here in Champaign-Urbana. Well, we're definitely following the storm home. Now enjoying a severe thunderstorm morning from Champaign-Urbana on a parking garage on the University of Illinois campus, kind of right by Illinois Public Media and 580. I don't know that I would have put a warning on this storm, but we'll see what it's got as it rolls over us. been a fun, never-ending storm observation. This is the kind of day that I dream of in the winter. It's like driving west of town an hour, watching storms erupt, follow them home. I don't think this is going to be particularly bad here, so I am going to start migrating across town, back toward my driveway. Make it rain shirt did its job today.
safely in the driveway after their fun local storm observation. Smash that like, subscribe button, follow along. I don't know how long I'll be sitting out here, but it might be a little while. This is nice though. You're a long heat wave. This will do it. This will do.